Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. I am Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today we are going to be in the American Supercruiser USS Alaska and uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Now we are joined by a couple division mates and they are Bismarck 1944 aka USS Missouri, and we're also joined by Spatial Relic. Um, so yeah, I think we all decided to run um, a bunch of Alaskas, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a pretty good game. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are new to the channel and you guys are just dropping by, I appreciate you being here. Seriously, I'm glad you decided to click on my video. And if you guys wanna, you know, anybody, this goes for anybody. If you guys wanna help me, support the channel a bit, don't forget to go down there, hit that subscribe button, because it is free and it does help out the channel, and um, it gets us closer and closer to that next channel milestone. Also, don't forget to go down there, hit that like button, and leave a comment at the end of the video telling me what you guys thought of the video. Um, I look forward to getting back to everybody I can. Now, real quick, I would also like to remind you guys that I have a bunch of links in the description of this video to like my Discord, to my Facebook, all that stuff. You guys can go check that out. And you guys can uh, feel free to join my Discord. Um, we are a ever-growing community over there. We've got over 100 people in there so far. And uh, yeah, nonetheless, though, I appreciate every single one of you guys being here. And uh, so yeah, I hope you all do enjoy today's video. Now, yesterday, I know I forgot to do a video. <clears throat> so don't worry. I have something special planned later. Now, if it's already up, you guys already know what that special thing is. But I have a special video that's going to be coming out later today, or it might be already out by the time I'm recording this. So who knows? But I hope you all do enjoy that as well. But um, yeah, so... But today, I'm making up a bit for missing out on yesterday's video. So of course, we've got this video. This video was planned um, yesterday, but I couldn't get it posted because I was at a concert. And that concert may or may not be the video that I'm going to be posting. Wink, wink. But um, yeah, so the Alaska... What do we know about the Alaska? Well, the Alaska, it has those beautiful American 305 millimeter guns. They are, I believe, 12 inch guns, if I'm not mistaken. They are big. And um, yeah, they hit really hard. The AP is phenomenal on these American um, 305s. And also the HE, don't sleep on it. The HE can do some pretty good work too. But mainly the AP, that's what this thing's all special about. Now, notice that we are um, shooting at an enemy Des Moines. We just knocked out one of his turrets. Now, we're up to already 21,000 thousand damage we have two citadels and uh, we've already got an incapat that's because we knocked out that dude's turret then we see the gearing out here so we take a longer range shot the spurgeon looks all right but he is turning good for him and uh yeah he's gonna for the most part dodge some of our shells but unfortunately for him we got a couple to actually land getting ourselves three penetrations bringing our damage up to 24 thousand so what else do we have to talk about the alaska so the alaska's armor well it has very good armor it's got 32 millimeters of bow and stern armor which is enough to ricochet um 16 inch guns however you got to watch out for those nasty deck penetrations from long range um also the only thing you really have to worry about actually overmatching you directly through your bow is yamato yamato is basically the only ship in the game that can overmatch pretty much everybody's bows so yeah so look out for yamato's however um you know you should be okay though for the most part now he will rip this ship apart because it is plastered in 32 millimeters and a majority of the shells at least um eight inch guns and above will absolutely crap on you so especially cruisers with eop so keep that in mind as well. Now the heels on the Alaska, since it got a buff a while ago, the heels are quite good. Um, the heels are almost super heel esque kind of heels. They're very good. They're very strong, and that's why I run. Um, that's why I run fully packed on here because I want those extra heels, and uh, really that just helps my survivability overall. Now um, the radar, of course, on the Alaska, nine kilometers. It's pretty standard. Thirty second reload or thirty second duration. Not the greatest, but I mean, hey, you got it. Also, you got your standard american sonar not gonna talk too much about that now the hit points on the alaska very good fifty thousand hit points so you're going to be surviving for quite a long time um that's just the thing with the alaska now notice we are pushing these guys in we just blocked out one of them one's turrets and knocked one of them out bringing our damage up to 41k and uh, not too bad at all and notice that we are getting absolutely spammed down not much we can really do about that now unfortunately i believe um, one of our div mates in the Alaska did go down um, because he was getting just absolutely spammed. Nothing he could have done about that. And uh, yeah, but um, 
it is what it is. So we're still just sitting here using our armor, standing bow in, because that's about the only thing we can do here. If we decide to go broadside to this Des Moines or really any of these guys, we will absolutely get shit on, pardon my language, because we just do not have... Um, we have a lot of bow armor, but we don't have a lot of side armor, and we will get penetrated very, 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 very hard. So what we're doing here is we're worrying about our positioning. I'm worried about crossfires from the other side of the map, too. That's why I'm trying to use this island here to my advantage, so that way I can limit the amount of people shooting me. But still, no matter what, there's a Minotaur getting shots over, there's a, there's a Des Moines shooting, and there's, I think there's a Brandenburg right in front of us, which all, all of us know how good the Brandenburg secondaries are. So, yeah, we're not having a fun time. But here in a second, um, the enemy is going to make some mistakes, and we're going to be able to push in here. Now, um, we did take another shot into the Des Moines uh, guns there, and unfortunately we got nothing. And also, that was the mistake I was talking about. The Brandenburg came out flat broadside, he took a bunch of Shimatorps, and also, I think the Des Moines took some torpedoes as well, or he got shot by AP from one of the battleships. I don't know, but nonetheless, he's down, and there is another enemy Des Moines. Um, and we are going to absolutely smack the living shit out of him. And, uh, well, not yet. That was just one Citadel. He's lucky he didn't get absolutely removed because that was very good, uh, very good grouping there. I'm surprised that didn't just delete him, but unfortunately some of the shells fell short. Here's another salvo. Let's see if this one does, does, uh, does its job here. And, yeah. <laughs> yes, it did. Two Citadels, four penetrations, bringing our damage up to 92,000. We absolutely smack the ever-living shit out of that Des Moines. That Des Moines player should know that, well, you should not be going broadside. But I think what he was trying to do there is kite out, which was the right play. He knows his side has collapsed. He's trying to kite out. And luckily for us, we caught him in his kite, uh, his, uh, his turnout there, and we actually managed to block the crap out of him. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just what this American AP do. That's just what it do, guys. <laughs> it is phenomenal. Um, now, one thing you guys need to keep in mind, too, with the Alaska is the downside to it is the reload. 15, 16 seconds. I mean, I know it's to balance the 305s, but the DPM, it's not the greatest because of that. Like, Des Moines has better DPM because it has 12 8-inch guns that reload every 5 seconds. So... Yeah, you're going to struggle over time to do more damage, and you're going to struggle if people are all bow in. Like, as you guys saw earlier, when all those people were sitting bow in, the only thing we could really do to them was either get super, stru super structure penetrations, either knock out their guns or get fires. That was about the only thing we could do. Um, so thankfully, that Shimakaze actually managed to help us. And the point of this, what I'm trying to talk about is, guys, the Alaska is going to need support. It's going to need spotting. It's going to need people... It's going to need some help from your teammates. It, it can't do everything. And uh, that's one thing that's kind of, you know, the downside to the Alaska is it's basically a mini battleship. And if you guys don't have, if you don't have support in your mini battleship, you're not going to do very well. But uh, in this match, luckily, we had some good destroyer players and they were managing to spot the enemy for us. Thank God. And uh, yeah, now hopefully this Des Moines does die. And unfortunately, no, he doesn't. He's still alive. And uh, so we're waiting for our guns to reload. And uh, while we're waiting for our guns to reload, notice that, there's, notice that there's torpedoes coming in from behind us. And we're still getting spammed by the Minotaur. Now, hopefully that horizontal dispersion will catch him and uh, take him out. And it looks pretty good. Come on, shells. Do it to him. No, it didn't. Another overpen. Are you serious? Come on now. Still, we gotta wait for a reload, but I'm like, screw this. Should I even shoot him? I'm like, well, he needs to get off the board, so... Um, I'm gonna take a shot. I was tempting on shooting the Minotaur, but he's behind the island. I don't really have a good shot, so I take another shot at this Des Moines. Will he finally die? Come on now, game. Will he finally die? And... No, he doesn't! What the hell? <laughs> How many salvos will it take to kill the Des Moines? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Pardon my language, but that is aggravating as hell. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nonetheless, though, I think that Des Moines player, I think I recognize him. GG to him. Um, but yeah, G not GG to your team, though. Your team was pretty crap, not going to lie. But um, I think our teammates did manage to take him out. <clears throat> Actually, no, they did not. He's still alive. Look at that. Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines. Oh, nothing we can really do about that, should, uh, can we? So I'm hoping that one of my teammates will take a shot at him with their bigger guns, maybe take him out. But uh, nonetheless, though, I'm making a push here. I want to get around this island and start making some work here. I want to put some magic out on these guys here. I want to absolutely smack the crap out of them. And notice that we still have our radar and our sonar. So at any point, we can pop that real fast. And uh, there's the Minotaur. So I'm like, oh my gosh, a Minotaur. Ooh, I want to take a shot at him. But first, I need to get the Des Moines off the board. If I let him stay alive, he's a danger to our team. So I take the shot, and finally he goes down. 
six over pen or four over penetrations. <laughs> Jesus, finally! But now we take a uh, back. Uh, we take a shot with our back gun at the Minotaur. Unfortunately, we get no good results. But we got our front guns loaded. And hey, Minotaur, you're over angled, bud. <laughs> There's two more Citadels, 140k. But we ain't done yet here. This Minotaur still thinks he could just sit there and angle. And you can angle, bud. You don't got a lot. You don't got a lot of armor there. And I'm gonna be able to aim right under his guns. And, yeah, there's another double citadel. He even tried to pop a heal and get his torps off. But no thanks, bud. Go back to port. That's our second kill of the game. High caliber. 154,000 damage. And we are coming to the end of this video. If you guys have made it this far in, I thank you. And uh, don't forget to go down there, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, well... This is the time to do it, I would say. And uh, that is about it, everybody. I think we are basically almost done with this game. All that's left now is, I believe, an enemy battleship. So, yeah, but I hope you all did enjoy this video. And uh, I don't know if we're done yet. I'm just going to talk a little bit, though, about the channel. We're already up to almost 850 subscribers. Just a few days ago, guys, we hit 800. And in just a few days, we're already halfway to 900. Guys... I cannot thank you all enough for the support. It seriously means so much to me that you guys still are here, still watching my videos, and showing this much support. It's awesome. And I cannot thank you all enough. And I'm glad that you guys are also enjoying it too. Um, I seriously am. But um, yeah, so look out though later today, or it might be already out, I don't know, but look out for a video um, about my uh, about the concert I was at for America. Um, it was a pretty awesome concert, and uh, I do hope you all do enjoy this video, and I hope you all do enjoy that one and future videos to come. If you guys want to also, go check out my last two videos in the Sumner and in the Buffalo. Got loads of content coming every single day, guys, um, in the week anyway, so Monday through Friday. And, um, yeah, I can't thank you all enough, though, seriously. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know if this Montana is going to get spotted. So what I'm probably going to do is I am going to fast forward to the end of this video. And, uh, yeah, I will see you all there. Alrighty, so here we are at the end of the video. Down goes the Montana. We also got a little bit of extra damage. We'll talk about that here in a second once we see the match results. Uh, we also ranked up in the last campaign there. Um, but yeah, 165k Dreadnought High Caliber, 2 kills, 10 Citadels, 3k base, GG to everybody in that game. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, stay healthy, as always.